Not what we wanted to see from Delta, a very well-defined eye forming. And in fact, the hurricane hunters still flying through the center of the storm are saying that it is a well-formed eye, which means it's likely to continue to intensify. And we have been seeing that steadily since really last night. Winds of 115 miles an hour. That forward motion has slowed down a bit, but that is mainly because we're beginning to see that more turn toward the north and that will continue really until landfall winds are excuse me motion toward the northwest at 12 miles an hour and the pressure has been steadily falling as well at 959 millibars and boy that intense thunderstorms when you colorize the satellite really also gives you a very clear picture of that storminess that is almost completely wrapped around the center there's still a little bit of a break on the eastern side where those storms not quite there yet but that will continue which is why the hurricane center is expecting that it will continue to intensify and then there will be a period before landfall that we will see some weakening. That weakening just may not happen fast enough because it is likely going to pick up forward speed as it approaches the coast of southwest Louisiana sometime Friday afternoon making landfall. And I would say that the models are in very good agreement right now. So basically that center of forecast is written now in stone. Uh, Hurricane Center is saying that there may be a little bit of adjustment here or there but basically it's pretty much set as to where it's going to be making landfall. We're also going to see the heaviest of the rainfall obviously right near the center. And in fact, we might get some drier air to wrap around the center, which would maybe help to limit the amount of rainfall that we're going to see here. And I just built this graphic earlier comparing the tracks of Delta and Laura. And I mean, what is incredible is that you could have two major hurricanes basically making landfall at the same spot in the same season. Just absolutely amazing to see. Not that we wish this for the folks in Lake Charles. Now the good news again, trying to find that silver lining. Rainfall totals are not going to be that extensive in terms of a flooding risk. Eh, very heavy amounts of 5 to 10 or more inches of rainfall, but the storm should be moving very quickly and rain accumulation is really not all that impressive here. In fact, I need to adjust some of our numbers here because it looks like the numbers have come down for even more of southeast Louisiana with maybe a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain expected right now. I'll show you why that may be in just a second. The winds may be another issue along with the coastal flooding because for a time parts of our area may experience tropical storm force winds late Saturday and early on into Sunday. That is going to likely create some widespread power outages. Now the coastal flooding concerns still there, although a lot of the numbers have come down with the latest uh, advisory from the Hurricane Center. Notice now three to five that had been four to six feet from the mouth of the river to Port Fouchon and for a time from Port Fouchon to Morgan City, the number had been 7 to 11 feet. That has come down as well to 4 to 7 feet. Now from Morgan City westward, still anticipating that 7 to 11 foot of storm surge. Tomorrow we're also going to be watching as the storm begins to near the coast and especially after landfall, the risk of some tornadic storms developing. We have a line of some thunderstorms on the North Shore and in Mississippi right now. That'll start to wrap up by later tonight. And then notice not an all day rain tomorrow. We'll get some bands and some individual individual cells and again some of those may become tornadic but it is not going to be a constant rain during the day tomorrow rainfall will be wrapping up by midday on Saturday as we'll see improving conditions because this is the dry air I was talking about on the western side models indicating as the upper trough continues to push eastward we're going to see that dry air start to wrap around the center maybe help to weaken it but if nothing else that dry air notice it starts wrapping up over us and kind of cuts off a lot of the heavy moisture which I think is going to be far more contained to the center of the storm as opposed to seeing heavy rainfall across a wide area of the Gulf Coast. Heavy rains have already been moving through the area and as I mentioned some of the storms that we have seen on the North Shore and in Mississippi briefly became severe. We had a couple of tornado warnings for parts of southern Mississippi. Line of heavy storms moving across uh, or north of Picayune now toward Bogalusa and Poplarville and we'll likely see the storms for the next couple of hours primarily on the North Shore. Overcast skies outside right now in a temperature of 85 degrees. It was a warmer day today, 88, and it just doesn't feel like October. Well, that's the tropical air mass coming in ahead of Delta. 70s and 80s outside at the moment with winds not strong, but easterly. They will be increasing as we get later into the night tonight and on into tomorrow. Obviously, at times we may see tropical storm force winds sustained more likely than anything. Tropical storm force wind gusts of over 40 miles an hour. Still windy and wet early
early Saturday, but then improving conditions. Still warm and humid, but indications of a cold front trying to move through by Wednesday and then another one next Friday.